So she walks in the house and Rev says, another dress? You bought another dress? This is ridiculous. That's the third dress this week. And his wife tells him, the devil made me buy this dress. <laughs> Said, I didn't want to buy no dress. The devil kept following me. I was going down the street going, mm-hmm. <laughs> and the devil kept following me and he kept telling me how good I look. <laughs> Rev said, I'm not going for that. He said, every time you do something wrong, you blame it on the devil. He said, you blamed it on the devil when you ran the car to the side of the church. <laughs> it was the devil. You wasn't there. How do you know? He grabbed the steering wheel out of my hand. Rev said, well, why didn't you step on the brake? He said, because when he grabbed the steering wheel, I tried to kick him. <laughs> you can't kick him and step on the brake at the same time. <laughs> Said, and we had a big fight. And that's why I was in the back seat when y'all got the call. <laughs> Griff said, well, how'd the devil get you to buy the dress? She said, I was going out of there. And the devil sneaked up behind me. Sneaked. I heard him tip it to you, know. I didn't want to look around because I knew it was the devil, you know. <laughs> <laughs> the devil came up behind me. He said, he said uh, see, mama, look at the dress in the window. <laughs> I said, that's your size, too. I said, it's on sale, too. Got a lot of them flowers in it like you like, you know? So why don't you treat yourself to that dress? And I told him, you better cut that out, devil. <laughs> I already bought two dresses this week. I'm not going to buy no dress. I'm not even going to look at it. The devil said, well, why don't you try it on? I said, they're not going to charge you charge nothing to try it on. I mean, that's free. You owe yourself a try on. <laughs> I said, devil, you better leave me alone. <laughs> and he shoved me in the door. The devil just shoved me in that door. He pushed me in the door. I said, devil, stop it, please. <laughs> Shove me over the red dress was. I said, cut it out, devil. <laughs> then he threatened me and made me try it on. Devil said, You gonna buy that dress? I said, I'm not buying no dress, devil. And he pulled the gun. <laughs> devil pulled a gun and he threatened me and made me sign your name to a check. <laughs> Riff said, well, Look, said, how come every time the devil makes you do something, it's something for your benefit? When's the devil gonna do me a favor? And his wife tells him, he did already. I asked the devil about that. He said, if it wasn't for him, you wouldn't even have a job.